Welcome to Watercolor Behind the Brush. I'm Joe Moraz, and today we're going to be talking about the importance of drawing and sketching. I'll be showing you some of the materials that I use, as well as some tips and some advice. Don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Let's talk about some of the sketchbooks that I use. This is a little small version. Oops, upside down. I've used this traveling around. As you can see, in some cases we'll, this was a trip to Chicago and this was a little CTA transit pass, sitting in the airport waiting for a plane. Uh, we went to the top of the John Hancock building and that's a little bit of a napkin. So all of these are just little sketches that were done. In most cases, these sketches are done and then, then I'll paint, paint the color them in later on. Some of these were just kind of made up sketches, just practicing doing little figures. I was sitting around the doctor's office and these were some people that were sitting in there. Hands, motion. It's so important to draw each and every day. And uh, you can accomplish that with these sketchbooks. They're different sizes. This is a sketchbook that uh, it's actually a coat, uh, it's a, a toned paper. And what I'll usually do is put a little masking tape around it and then work with a little gouache in some t cases. Here's a horizontal version. Uh, Urban Sketchers is a great uh, a great thing to get involved in. We have a chapter here in Longview, and we'll go to a local coffee shop and do some sketching of the people that are in there or around town. Uh, it's good practice, and uh, these are nice, handy little sketchbooks. Um, this is a little larger variety that I kind of like. It takes the watercolor fairly nice. Um, See what we've got in here. Once again, urban sketching, people in the coffee shop. This is sort of a made up street scene that I was playing with. This is a little Blue Door antique store in town. I sketched this from across the street. One of our local churches. More urban sketching. Some of the uh, equipment I use, and it's pretty simple, I'll just use some marker pens. These are usually water resistant. Um, Micron, I'll carry a pencil along with me. Uh, most of the drawings that I do, as I say, are sketched on location, and then I'll color them in later on. Some of the palettes that I use uh, are, for example, this little metal palette, which is very convenient, holds a fair amount of pigment. I started out years ago using one of these little small Winsor Newton palettes, and uh, this has served me well over the years. One of my favorite ones now is this Winsor Newton palette that actually has a little container for water. There's a sponge and uh, there's a reservoir here which you can hold the water in. It sort of folds up fairly easily. And uh, pop that in your pocket. For brushes, I have a couple of these uh, squirrel mops that I'll use. They hold a fair amount of pigment and I really like them. Um, also, here's a little travel kit of brushes that come in a a variety of sizes and uh, once again that'll fit in your pocket fairly easily and you can ha always have them handy and with you. 
Um, I also have over here, this is a little, I guess you could call it a little, either a little makeup bag or a, a bag for carrying your toiletries, but I've converted it into a little bag to carry my, my art supplies in. And it's rather convenient and easy to use. Uh, I, I really can't stress enough the importance of drawing each and every day. Uh, the more you draw, the better painter you become. Uh, and, and these are skills that you just can't do without. It's sometimes it's hard to get in the habit of drawing every day. However, if you do get involved in an urban sketching group, they'll give you a couple of days a month at least that they meet, and uh, it's a good opportunity to sketch. So uh, in signing off, I'd like to ask you to kind of subscribe to my page, as well as uh, happy painting and happy sketching.